Also breaking at noon, a homeowner shoots and kills a burglary suspect. The sheriff's office says it happened during the fourth break in at the home in just the last 24 hours. Deputies say the homeowner was acting in self-defense and won't be charged. News 6's Mark Lehman has the details from Eustis in Lake County. Investigators say there are a lot of questions they're working to sort out on this. They say it was just before dawn when the homeowner shot and killed the burglary suspect. Deputies telling us that same man is behind other break ins in this neighborhood, including some at the same home. We watched as investigators gathered evidence in the Pine Lakes neighborhood this morning. The property is where deputies tell us a homeowner confronted a burglary suspect with deadly force. It's also where the sheriff's office says they responded multiple times in the last 24 hours. We responded out last night about midnight when the property owner noticed that uh, his property had been burglarized actually for the third time yesterday. Deputies say the victim filed a report after he noticed items that appeared to be stashed in an area for later retrieval. Then it was around 5 this morning when he heard voices outside. He confronted the suspect and somehow a struggle ensued and at that point the homeowner shot the suspect. That suspect was pronounced dead on scene and the homeowner was taken to the hospital from injuries during the struggle. Detectives believe the suspect was also behind several other break-ins and today they're trying to determine if he worked with any other accomplices. We hope that it will lead us to a conclusion of the recent burglaries that have been reported and hopefully we would love to be able to uh, recover any property that was stolen. Investigators say they've been recovering fingerprints from the scene and have been speaking with the homeowner in the hospital. He is expected to be okay and at this point deputies say it appears he acted in self-defense. Reporting in Northeast Lake County, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.